simple uh, calculation first, okay? So we do positive that is going up. So we carry out static analysis, okay, static analysis. Positive is going up. Dimension of forces in the y direction is equal to zero, right? So you have minus PY plus by ABY is equal to zero. Okay, so ABY is equal to PY. Okay, as I told you before. AB is the only one that can able to withstand uh, any vertical or any y direction uh, component uh, forces. Okay. Now, now we know FAB that is the resultant. Unfortunately, in order to have the resultant, we have to complete the circuit of the force vector. What do I mean by that? So over here, you have a what ABX now. Okay, we have ABX. So if we ignore member BC, now point B will go horizontal, right? Point B will want to go horizontal, okay? So we need to have another force over here, which is equal to what? BCX, okay? And you can see that BCX, is the opposite direction of ABX. So that point B will be in statics. Okay, so now we can find from here, we can also find what is our ABX. But before we find our ABX, we, we need to find our FAB, yes or no? If we have an angle over here, and this angle is theta, right? So we know that, uh, uh, FAB is equal to ABY divided by sine theta. Right? Okay. So, so, or, 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 we can write down uh, ABY is equal to FAB sine theta. Okay. So now once we know AB, uh, FAB, we can easily find ABX. So ABX is equal to FAB cos theta, okay? And then from here, we do another static analysis, uh, plus or minus, or not plus, horizontal, summation of forces in the x direction is equal to zero. So we can say that uh, minus ABX plus by BCX is equal to zero. So BCX, is equal to ABX, and we know that ABX is equal to FAB cosine theta. Okay. So these are the forces. Next, we want to find the reaction of member AB and member BC. Okay. So now we draw member AB. Okay. And then we draw member BC. And then we are going to apply Newton's third law. Okay, we are going to apply uh, Newton third law in this. What do I mean? We're going to apply Newton third law. Okay, action. is equal to reaction, okay? Same in magnitude,
different in direction. Okay, so that's where over here, let's go in opposite direction now. Over here, let's go opposite direction, right? When I say opposite direction, so this is BC, it has to oppose. FAB over here, this also have to oppose. Okay, then you draw this over here. Okay, so we can see member AB is going to tensile. Member BC is going to compression. Okay. So from here we can we 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 now know that stress A B immediately you can write this out where you have let me uh, compress the page. We can write stress A B is equal to uh, F A B divided by area or area A B. And stress BC is equal to uh, uh, BCX divided by area BC. And based on the sign, this is positive and this will be negative. Okay. So this is what I meant by trust analysis, applying the method of joints and the forces can only be in this orientation for AB and this orientation for AB because it's truss analysis. And in truss analysis, right, the structure can only withstand what? Axle loading. Okay. So you guys or all of you have done axle loading before. Okay. However, the axle loading you have done is based on reaction forces. Okay, so in general, anyone, any questions so far, please? Anyone? If you have questions, you can stop me to ask. Okay, anyone, please? Um, sir, um, uh, you explained everything else, but um, could you explain why one is in compression and one is in ten tensile? Um, yes. I okay, please. Okay, so let's let's look at FAB. Okay, let's look at FAB. So we are go we're, we're going to focus on uh, FAB now. Okay, let's go FAB. FAB is pushing towards member AB. Right? Right? So so this one is from met from the joint is pushing this way. So when we apply Newton's third law, action equal reaction, it has to counter okay, it has to counter the FAB. Yes or no? Right? Newton's third law. If you look at Newton's third law, Action equal to reaction, same in magnitude, different direction. So we know AB will have to counter FAB in this direction. Okay, so at the other end, you will have this arrow. Is that clear, uh, Hina? We okay? Yes, sir. Okay, if not, you can watch the video <laughs> again. Okay, right. So, so this is what we mean by uh, trust analysis, and we have done Excel uh, loading only. Okay. Now, in general, now I'll, I'll start a new page. Do you need more time to copy, or you're okay? Anyone? You yeah, okay? if you just give me one, 30 seconds, I'll Don't be... Don't worry, just take your time and copy, okay? Sir, one quick question. Yes. Uh, did you assume that FAB is going the upward direction? FAB. No, I did not make the assumption. That is a fact. Why that's a fact, okay? FAB is controlled by ABY. ABY has to be upwards because of because of PY. Right? Oh, okay, makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, the, the, the only uh, member that can withstand the vertical force is 
FAB. Okay, so what I've drawn down here is a vector. So we, oh, sorry, I should not be moving this. So we, I'm going to write this on the side. We are looking at force vector. Okay, so if, 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 if FAB is in this direction now, right? So this is the tail end is the start. The head end is the end. And we have to break down in component uh, X and Y. So over here, this will be your FA, uh, sorry, F -A, your ABY. And this will be your ABX. Okay. Yes, sir, that makes sense. Thank you. More than welcome. Um, sir, could you please um, explain um, the formula um, on the bottom left, the sigma AB and the sigma BC? So now we know that FAB is in tensile, right? So that's why it's positive, and you divide by the cross-sectional area AAB. Okay. Stress BC, so it's BCX divided by area of BC, or you can call this uh, negative FBC divided by ABC. It's the same thing. Is that okay? So this will be in compression. Is that clear? Oh, para. Um, yes, thanks. Thank you. If not, let me know. Okay, don't let me answer, and then you have no reaction. So I, I neither know that you know, you know or don't know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so no one have any uh, other questions. So there are two ways that we can design a structure. There, 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 there are two, two ways. Okay, and and okay. So in general, there are no. Anyway, There are two methods to design structures. Okay. So method number one, which I've just shown you. is based on a uh, reaction uh, forces. So this is what, how, this is when we apply uh, static analysis. And then method number two, Okay, we apply elastic deformation. Okay, so what we would like to do, okay, we like to combine both of them, okay, not just use one or the other, we like to combine both of them. Okay, combine both methods. Uh, to carry out. Structure analysis. Okay, so let's look at uh, uh, briefly look at method number one. 
okay? So method manual one, 